if there was one thing, one thing that you keep hearing from Nintendo fans in general is that emulation is always piracy. But how do you prove someone is pirating a game when emulating it? I'm doing a little experiment. I have a copy of Super Mario Galaxy 2. I'm going to rip it, and I'm going to compare its checksum to the one from Rita, which is a hash-keeping authority for these old games. If there, their hashes are always the reference value for what is a clean copy. So I'm going to rip this, compare it to a clean copy, verified clean copy, and see if you can really tell if someone's pirating or not. So right now I'm here in a piece of software that we don't use as well called Clean Rip, and I'm going to rip this copy of Super Mario Bros. 2. Here's the disc, and I'm going to put it into the Wii. Now let's go through. We're going to say no to Doodler, we're gonna do the max chunk size, new device per chunk, no, and don't run in the settings. And we'll see when it, this is done. So you can see uh, the copy is completed finally after 22 minutes. I'm going to exit and I'm going to shut down the Wii and we're gonna compare hash. Alright, so I have copied over the eyes of the number and merged the two parts into one. Shows up correctly as a weak disk image here in the one to use file by the crew, which this is why Linux is awesome, it knows what a weak disk image is. I'm going to drag this into this program called GTK hash, which is a hashing program. And we're gonna compare the this screen right here. Oh, bomb. Sorry, with CRC32, just from uh, having a little look here. Oh, uh, we'll see 0463 7269. 0463 7269. MD9, C9, DB578, whatever. C9, DB578, whatever. SHA1, B427448646. Basically, you get the idea all these numbers are the same on here as they are in this program. So basically, yeah, ROMs? Where are the ROMs from? You, you ripped it? No one can say for sure that you have ripped it because a ROM is nobody's copy. It doesn't have an original owner. So... To say emulation is piracy, how do you prove it's piracy if you have no verification? That's what I'm trying to get at here, that it's a perfect legal gray area, and Nintendo fanboys are trying to paint it as like a big crime. It's not.